Hi everyone, this is Roses Are Red. I'm Rosetta Marie. Uh, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. So I have some cards pre-pulled and the message is, well, I haven't looked at the cards yet, but I'm hearing something about a tower, like someone, someone experiencing a tower, things breaking down, bricks falling out of their wall, things crumbling into the ground and the message is that you're going to rebuild even stronger. Whatever the materials that were used that got knocked down, especially when it comes to your emotions, people hurting your feelings, stepping on your toes, disrespecting you in some way, you're going to get stronger in that area. So it's actually helping you. Breaking down and building up, like tearing down muscle and breaking down muscle and just basically becoming a bond, especially when it comes to your emotions. So don't even think twice when something like hurts you, especially when it comes to your feelings, because that hurt is is going to turn into pleasure. I don't know if that makes sense for some people. And it, it, people gossiping about you, but they're not saying anything necessarily. They're just kind of like doing things like sucking their teeth or maybe just cackling loud or just just being obnoxious in some way that that stuff that type of stuff they're doing um that's gonna make your that's gonna build your nerves like someone had may have some wrecked nerves uh this could come from someone who tried to make you feel like they mattered so much like they wanted you to pay attention to every little thing they did or else they would explode on you and so now you're in this frequency of people who think that their feelings, you know, their hurt feelings or whatever it is, temper tantrums they're throwing is the beginning and the and end of your world. And you might have felt like you needed to escape at some point, like run away from this energy. But you're in that frequency. So it doesn't matter where you go on this planet. And even in your mind, it's still in that frequency. So I feel like. You're definitely going to be raising your frequency, but lowering it as well. Low, lowering it so that it balances out. And where wherever they attacked you is going to become your medium. So for them, it, it took all their force to hurt you and do whatever they did. It took, you know, every fiber in their being to affect you. But now this is going to be your medium and that's going to terrify them because you're not going to bat an eye. You got the Hierophant in reverse. Let's clarify. Then you have three of cups. Yeah, so traditionally, they're going to feel like if they say something rude, that you're supposed to get your feelings hurt. You're supposed to be sad. You're supposed to feel left out. But you might not even hear them at a certain point because they're digging at the same wound. And it's now like, a, it's like scar tissue. Knight of Swords. And also, like, the jokes that they're saying about you, um, they don't make sense. Like, I'm hearing, like, if it was funny, you might laugh, but they're not, they're, they're incoherent. Whatever they're saying is not intelligible. So just let them waste their breath or you won't hear them after a while. You're going to be thinking about other things. Okay. So that's a message for some people. Be happy with the results of your actions. Problems, insecurity, failure. Yeah, you don't have to run away. You don't you don't have to run away from your problems anymore. Cause because if they tried to make their problems your problem, it's gonna bounce right off of you and become their problem again, which it already is. But it's gonna it's gonna come back at at a at a harder force. Yeah, like they're really going to get to see themselves the way you see them, which is not at all. And that's going to terrify them. It's like someone who feels like you can, you can see them through the walls. Um, this is going to be kind of weird. Like, like they don't get that there's a screen, like you're in your own body thinking your own thoughts, but they're, they're outside thinking you can see them and read their mind. And they think it's like this schizophrenic connection. 
and then when they see you in per- in person, it's going to be very clear that you, you don't even know there's a person over there. You don't even know, you never even knew there were residents or you might've thought you lived in the whole, on the whole block by yourself. You never heard anything, something like this, or you completely forgot that, that you had neighbors because you were so focused on your own life or coworkers or whatever, whatever these people are that, that think they're the center of your world. You're the center of your own world. And them being surrounded around you as haters thinking they're the center of your world, it just it doesn't make sense. And you might not even have the the foresight to really focus on their facial expressions, but like the fact that they're gritting at you, not cheering for you. Because even if they were cheering for you, you would have to tune that noise out. Like Beyonce said, she doesn't hear the applause. I'm not sure how the lyrics go, but I do remember some. There's some song where she she says something about applause. She doesn't hear it, but yet people are in the audience. Like you know, we're the same person. Two of candles in reverse. Yeah, it looks like there's some some mental issues here. That this person is leaning on you. And lean it on your sound structure. Yeah, I'm just seeing them evaporating. Because you don't know what they look like. You don't know who they are. This if this reason re, if this reading is resonating, like you might not even know what this is about. That's where this energy is coming from. Like I feel like I'm just seeing something that I'm seeing someone who is completely unseen. They're just unrecognizable. Like they don't have any parents. So the energy is like focus on yourself. Some people's gonna have to go, they're gonna need glasses. You might have 20-20 vision, and all of a sudden you just decide to go get your eyes checked, and it's like you need Coke bottle glasses for some people because you're about to go blind to these haters. Or somebody might need to get a hearing aid because you're about to go deaf. And they really thought that they had a place that they could connect with you because you might have had like, like ultra human abilities. And they treated you like God, which is not a good thing. Okay. Christ was crucified. So that's not a good thing. They treated you like somebody they could stomp on and walk all over. And, you know, Christ comes back to set them all on fire. And that's what I'm getting. Like, just annihilate them in the spirit realm. They, they don't exist on any level within your consciousness and focus on yourself and what you want to do. Like, be so selfish right now. This is fire. It's like you, you're one of these flowers. And these are all the people who are going through the same type of stuff you're going through. So when you really focus on your own energy and your own power and not what's going on around you, you basically call your power back. And they're the ones that can't see really. You can't see them. And in, in this in this material world, it's called blindness. But they don't exist. If you don't see them, they, they don't exist. Somebody's, how do you say this? Like somebody might have even just recently been diagnosed with something related to the eye. Or somebody's going to say like, oh, well, if you don't acknowledge us and we're just going to change the rules, like now you actually have superpowers, you know, you're not disabled. You have superpowers. Yeah. Meditation for clarity here, because you're going to need to know what the truth is. They're making stuff up. They're lying. That's what I'm getting at with the, everything that they're saying right now is a bold faced lie. Whereas you're just discovering this. And this is a vision board, but I'm seeing like a detective board, almost like you're making connections between one lie over the next. Sound healing. Yeah, and healing yourself from the negativity negativity that they've been um, piling, stockpiling on your consciousness. 
expecting you to babysit their emotions. Yeah, they're delusional. And also something about these connections they're making that you're making connections of things that don't make sense. Like, okay, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. These are all lies. So how are these people even able to function? When it's not just about the truth, it's about things actually making sense. They just live in confusion. And also because they're leaning on your towers, they're, le they're leaning on your columns, your stability, your focus. It doesn't matter what they say because they disappear as soon as they go out of your sight. So you, you're not alone at this time. You definitely have a community um, who is also in isolation. You're gonna, you guys are going to link up once you start to focus on yourself. All your paths lead to home, and that's what this blue flame is. So turn your gaze within, your inner authority, your, in, your intuition. Go within at this time. That's what you're being told to do. That blue flame is very important here. Maybe you want to look that up. Blue flame. No. Sleep on it. Maybe you already know what this is about. Waxing, gibbous. It's okay to change the direction and stay in control of your narrative. Happy this way. Happy that way. And doing things for fun. Some Somebody's like, it doesn't have to make sense. Like someone melting the, the wax from, from a piece of uh, cheese versus using oil. It doesn't make sense. But it's fun and it's creative. Okay, nourish your body with high vibrant energy. And that energy is food. So sometimes you do... Sometimes you do have to eat a little bit of sugar and sweets and things that taste good. Um, I don't know what medical records, but I know you do have to have a little bit of salt. You do have to have a little bit of sugar. Like things have to, you do need meat. You do need protein, but you know, just whatever is high vibing for you. Step, step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Maybe, maybe you're a vegetarian. I'm seeing no here again. Maybe you're someone who loves animals. So the guidance here is to love yourself with that same love and energy. And now is the time. This is your confirmation. You already know what I'm talking about. Something that you've been maybe led and guided away from up until now. Like, oh, no, you can't go that way. You have to go outward. You have to love the world. You can't love yourself. You can't think about yourself. Now's the time to do that because you've had enough of this outside world, especially if they're mocking and bullying you. Okay, unconditional love exists within me. You have love within twice here. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. So maybe you're running for, away from something within for some, this could be like, maybe you think it's gay to love yourself. I don't know. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. So this could be some something enlightening for you or whoever's going through this that, um, you know, get over those toxic beliefs because love is medicine and somebody is healing right now and it feels good to heal. Like almost like medical marijuana, 